This is 2018. Hormone replacement therapy exists for a reason. And that reason is it makes you feel way better. Testosterone supplements are a spicy topic nowadays, and fortunately, we don't have a shortage of them on the market. Tunkat Ali, Fadosha Agrestis, Ashwagandha, Shilijit are all popular options, but we also have Sistanche Tubulosa. In this video, we'll be going over Sistanche Tubulosa and its effects on not only testosterone, but also memory, because that's important too, if not more. Nah, it's not more important. Sistanche is known as a natural selective androgen receptor modulator, also known as a SARM. As the name implies, selective androgen receptor modulators are compounds that selectively target and activate androgen receptors in the body. This means that they are less likely to cause the unwanted side effects associated with traditional anabolic steroids, such as acne, hair loss, mood swings, and prostate enlargement. So let's look at this study and see if it has any effect on testosterone. Now, unfortunately, all of the studies on cystanche tubulosa on testosterone are on rats. And last I checked, I don't have a tail or whiskers, but I will give you the data and you do what you want with it. The primary study we have is this one. Now, the study states that male infertility is on the rise and they claim it's due to BPA, which is bisphenol A, which is the chemical found in plastics. The problem with BPA is that it mimics estradiol, so that is undesirable for men as it can decrease testosterone levels. Now, According to the FDA, most people are only exposed to about 1% of the upper safe limit each day to BPA. So currently, it seems like we're in the clear and not really any risk of toxic exposure. So what they did in this study is basically expose rats to high amounts of BPA, more than 100 times the limit for humans on a tiny mouse. Then they gave a group of the mice Sistanche tubulosa and measured what happened. The group that was exposed to BPA without Sistanche had their sperm number and daily sperm production reduced by 26% each and their testosterone levels by 77%. But the group that was exposed to BPA and received the supplement Sistanche had their sperm and testosterone levels decreased by much less. So there was improvement in this group compared to the other. So the study does show that Sistanche is able to increase testicular function and counteract the effects of BPA. The problem with the study is twofold. One is the obvious. We're humans and we're not rodents. And two is that we are not exposed to the amount of BPA that is toxic enough to reduce hormone function by that much. So it is unclear if Sistanche can even increase testosterone levels on healthy rodents, let alone human beings. Here's another study that shows similar results. From this study, we can see that rats not given Sistanche had decreased testosterone levels, while they recovered for the most part when given the supplement. What's strange is that testosterone levels did not recover as much at the higher doses of Sistanche tubulosa, so there may have been another mechanism that regulated the higher doses. Something else I'd like to point out when it comes to testosterone is we don't necessarily care about an increase in testosterone. We care about the benefits that an increased testosterone gives us. Why would I or you care to increase our testosterone levels by 10 or 20% if we don't feel any different in our everyday life or in the gym? If we have a testosterone deficiency, then 10% isn't going to cut it. And if you have normal testosterone and it increases by 10%, but you don't notice anything different, is there really a point? I guess for someone like him, there might be, but for me and you, probably not. Now, I'd like to move on to the one human study on Sistanche, and that's memory. Right off the bat, some problems with this study. Open label, so everyone knows what they're taking non-placebo, so not compared to no treatment, and very small, only 18 participants. The one good thing about the study is that it's 48 weeks long. Now, I could forgive all the shortcomings of the study if it was able to find any benefit. It didn't. Although some scores like MMSE and ADAS-COG improved, the results were all statistically insignificant. So it could have been due to just chance. Combine that with the study being open label, non-placebo, and we can conclude that the results of this study are not reliable. So would I take Sistanche tubulosa? No, didn't even have to hesitate on that one. No human studies on it providing any benefit and the rat studies were designed very poorly. But if you focus your attention right here on the left, you can check out my video on Tunkat Ali and its effects on testosterone. See ya.